Hi everyone, it's Harry and Kez here to work our way through the month of March with you. But before we begin, we'd like to say a big thank you for all your support so far, feedback, questions and requests. Please keep those coming. We will try our very, very best to answer your questions and delve deeper into any aspects of the Maria Tim calendar you would like to gain more insight into. This month, as requested, we will take a more practical approach at the calendar and walk you through what is going on in our market garden too. So with the promise of spring beginning to make herself known, with the arrival of the first daffodils and snowdrops, our fingers begin to tingle as we gear up to sow our first seedlings, which for me is one of my favorite things to do. So before we start turning on our heated crop benches and clearing our windowsills to give our precious little seedlings the best start of life, we're going to take you through the best times, in our opinion, and with the help of the Maria Tim calendar, when to sow. Now is also a great time to forage things like cleaver to make a spring tonic. Cleaver is, has amazing medicinal properties. Um, we can also find things like nettles for teas and delicious nettle soup. Um, chickweed for early spring greens. Wild garlic is starting to appear. And um, now is also the time to collect and dry our dandelion flowers for our biodynamic compost prep 506. The best time to collect is in the early morning and on a flower day. So the 12th, 20th, 28th or 31st of March are good days to do this. Um, and it's important to go out and collect the flowers early in the morning before they have started opening. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because if they are fully open, if you pick them and dry them, then they tend to turn into um, the seed head stage of the dandelion. And we don't want that. We still want it to be the flower for the prep. Um, yeah, I'm going to hand over to Harry and he's going to go into the calendar in more detail. Okay, so I'm going to start off. So from the 1st to the 3rd, as a flower period. Uh, you could sow something like Chima de Rapa or Broccoli Rab for an early harvest of lovely flowering shoots. We'll be direct sowing Caliente mustard into the polytunnel as a green manure to try and use it for its biofumigant properties, which may help reduce the amount of wireworm that we've noticed in there when weeding. We're doing that before tomatoes, and people often use it in a rotation before potatoes. Uh, from the 3rd to the 4th, or mainly just on the 4th, is a leaf day. So this would be a good day to do things like lettuce, or to sow lettuce, spinach, parsley, dill, pea shoots, Asian greens. Which we'll be sowing to transplant out into the polytunnel for an early harvest before we plant our tomatoes and cucumbers in other beds. And we're also going to sow leeks on that day, because we miss sowing them around Valentine's Day in February. And then from the 5th to the 7th is a fruit, so it could be a good time to sow fruit veg such as broad beans and peas, as well as tomatoes, aubergines, peppers and chilies. We're going to be planting out our broad beans after broad forking the beds outside as well. Uh, the 7th is a full moon and it's also known as the worm moon so-called from the height and activity of earthworms at this time of the year when the soil is warming up. Then we shift into um, root days during the northern transplanting time. Um, and the 9th, we plan on direct drilling the first of our carrots. Um, another crop, other crops rather, that you could sow is onion, garlic, radish, kohlrabi, turnips, florence, fennel and celeriac. These you would probably want to start off in module trays in a warmer area before planting out on a root day later um, in the calendar. We are also planning on spraying the first of our BD500 prep 
as we've cultivated a lot of land and it really helps support um, soil life as well as helping all your little plants um, send down very strong roots. Then from the 15th to the 17th of, is a fruit time, fruit days. And now is a very good time to sow tomatoes, aubergines, peppers and chilies. Okay, on the 20th it's spring equinox, so it's marking the start of spring for the northern hemisphere and the autumn or fall for the southern hemisphere. After this day, daylight will be increasing, which is exciting. Um, it's a flower day, but... We haven't marked that for anything to sow for us. From the 21st to the 23rd is a leaf day, so another good day to sow leafy things like lettuce, pea shoots, herbs like coriander, parsley and dill, celery. Uh, the 20, on the 21st is a new moon, so it's the best time to stargaze. And then... On the tw from the 26th to the 27th is a grey day. It's also the daylight saving, so the clocks will be springing forward an hour. On the old farmer or the old farmer's almanac, they suggest seeds planted now or on the 26th tend to rot in the ground, which is also marked as a grey in the Maria Ten calendar. So I think it's best to avoid doing anything, any sowing or planting. From the 28th to the 31st is a flowering period and it says here that on the 30th is going to be especially good for sowing flowers. And then on the 31st the moon's in apogee, so it's when it's furthest away from the earth. This is noted as a period when the moon stimulates flowering and fruiting and in Maria Tun's words. When the moon recedes from the earth in the course of its monthly cycle, the, uh, the effect on plant growth can in some ways be compared with that time of the year when the earth is furthest away from the sun, i.e. midsummer. The tendency in the plant world is then to run to seed, whereas the growth forces decrease. Thus the effect of the moon's apogee on seed plants can still be comparatively beneficial. For the sowing of leaf crops, however, this time is definitely unfavourable. Carrots sown during these days easily become woody. The only plant to react positively to being planted at Apogee is the potato. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I hope that was helpful. And if you'd like to follow along on our gardening journey, you can check us out on Instagram at Becoming a Farmer. Um, till then, happy farming and gardening everyone and see you in two months time. Bye. Bye guys.